Hey guys, this is just a quick demo of the D-Tuna. Uh, I installed one earlier uh, today. It only took about five minutes to do, but uh, the, the only reason I'm even putting this on there is because I didn't see any other mention of the D-Tuna on the site anywhere. So if you have a uh, guitar with a Floyd Rose bridge and you want to drop tune down to uh, uh, drop D tunings, uh, you know it's kind of a pain and you can't really do that easily. Uh, so the D-Tuna is pretty much the only way to do that. The only drawback with the D-Tuna is you have to stabilize your uh, bridge, which means you have to set it for dive only. And I've had one of these D-Tunas before and I did not like it because the stabilization method that I used was, uh, was one of those little uh, blocking uh, screws in the back. And every time the, uh, the sustain block hit against it, it made a loud thunk and it drove me nuts. But what I found was you can buy these little tiny uh, bumpers. Uh, it's a little, it's a, basically a rubber sticker uh, that's uh, like 0 0.10 tenths of an inch thick. Uh, that's what I used anyways. And I don't know if you can zoom in there, but I'll take a better picture if you can't see this or not. But uh, basically I just put a couple of those in between the uh, sustain block and the body of the guitar. And that cushions any, um, any time that the block rests against the body so I don't hear that loud thunk but it also stabilizes it so now the bridge is basically dive only now you can use the D-Tuna. D-Tuna is super easy to uh, install uh, and it actually holds the tune pretty uh, pretty good just a quick demo here I'm in uh, I'm in regular I'm in E flat tuning right now but it's in standard so <laughs> And then to go to drop D, you just pull this piece out. And it's in, D, and it's in drop D tuning. We'll actually drop C sharp for this guitar. But um, if you can like come over here and just take a picture of this, of the tuner. So there's my, uh, there's my C sharp tuning for the, for the low E string. And you can, you can see that each of the strings is just a little bit sharp, but most of them are in really good tuning. And I'm gonna put it back in, sorry, I'm gonna put it back in the regular standard tuning, going through all the strings. And you can see how good it works. And for the, uh, using the vibrato bar doesn't change it at all. said it's it's once you kind of figure out how you want to stabilize the uh, the bridge so it's dive only uh, this is this is easily worth the 35 bucks that, that these things cost like I said install installation is a cinch and uh, you know it's I don't know if I'd use it for a, like a studio recording or anything like that it's it's still easier just to have two guitars tuned however you want but uh, for changing tunings on the fly you really can't beat this all right thanks